Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today, I finally caved and bought the uh, oxide sprays uh, from this dress. Uh, here they are. Uh, and I'm going to uh, create an art journal page with them. But before that, I'm going to play a little bit and see how they react with other sprays. Uh, so if you want to uh, jump to the art journal, here's the timestamp that you need to go. But if you want to see me play with them and mix it with other sprays and see the reactions, uh, we will do it for a few minutes before the art journal. I got 12 colors and these colors are part of uh, set 2, the spring set. Um, so if you want to uh, purchase those, that's the set uh, I, I got. I have a few tags in front of me from Prima uh, to play with them a little bit and test uh, before I put it on my art journal. It's a really good idea to test your uh, new supplies uh, to see what they do and uh, get most out of them. And I really like to mix them with other uh, paints and sprays. So let's go. I'm putting some acrylic paint from this dress, a bundle sage, uh, on my on one of my tags. And I'm going to put it aside to dry and then see how oxides react with acrylic paint. And meanwhile, I have three colors that I love in front of me. Twisted citron, peacock feathers and broken china. And I'm going to simply uh, mix them all and see uh, the oxidation effect. I will just uh, mix them on this tag and then use some water to see the uh, effect. And here is the water. And I will just throw with my hand a little bit uh, the big splashes. And uh, I will dry and here is how it looks and uh, after that uh, I will throw a little bit more water too to see what happens. It's a beautiful chalky finish and uh, I absolutely love them. And now I will just try it with a mica uh, spray and I'm using my color bloom uh, spray from Prima. Uh, this is a uh, tangerine color. Uh, I just spray it on the tag a little bit, spray a little bit water on it and I use a couple of uh, oxide sprays. Uh, I'm using anticlinin and pumice stone, stone which are earthy and light colors to mix with this beautiful orange and uh, uh, finally I'm going to add a little bit of uh, dried marigold. I just love playing with colors and uh, having so much fun and I hope you enjoy watching this too. Uh, after they dry I, I, will, I spray a little bit water too uh, to move the colors uh, and uh, I keep spraying because I want to see what happens if I add this color a little bit more, that color a little bit more. The chalky distress uh, uh, dominates, but uh, do you see the nice glow that comes from the mica that the other uh, spray has? I love that effect and I think it's really nice. Uh, just to see what happens if I have uh, more of this spray, I will spray more orange, a bit of water too, and I'll leave it aside to uh, air dry. Uh, the negativity I have is uh, I can't wait uh, for them to dry, air dry, and I always uh, heat gun, uh, use my heat gun. Anyway, let's see how they react with the Distress Stain Spray. Uh, this is water-based uh, normal spray and the dilutions is the same. Like um, most of the uh, sprays in the market are uh, water-based uh, dye uh, sprays and they move with water. I'm adding a, a little bit green and a little bit yellow uh, of the oxides and uh, a little bit green and uh, uh, dark blue of the normal stain and see what happens. I'm assuming the spray, um, stain sprays uh, will uh, give a more depth uh, in terms of color. So they will stay darker and the others will turn to chalk and give a, a more uh, deep uh, look in the color of the tag. And finally I sprayed a little bit uh, Dilutions Black to see what will happen. We will come back to that. Uh, for now my uh, acrylic paint uh, dried. Uh, this was bundled sage uh, on the tag. And I am going to use a couple of uh, reds and uh, pinks on this 
and see how uh, acrylic paint will resist uh, I'm guessing some of it will resist so create a nice effect I really love this set of uh, oxides they are very uh, like uh, pastel uh, colors uh, which I love a lot uh, especially at this time of the year uh, and as you see the green uh, paint uh, just comes uh, through a little bit uh, where it resists and uh, again uh, creates a nice look uh, now I'm going to test them over uh, dark surfaces so this is Dilution's black spray and uh, a little bit water now I'm going to uh, spray the lightest colors to see how they will look and I think they look amazing on dark uh, because they are chalky and very pastel it gave me the inspiration of uh, creating a night sky a galaxy look uh, and actually I did uh, with another art journal that you will see in the future and I will splash a little bit uh, as well uh, rather than spraying uh, it looks so gorgeous uh, the background uh, the black uh, got lost again under the uh, distress uh, nomination maybe it would be different if, if it was gesso or acrylic I don't know we shall try in another session not this one I'm going to just splash a little bit water and then we can see how it will uh, become when we dry it again I cannot wait so I'm going to use my heat gun uh, and you will see that the black will come through more when it's uh, dry so as I heat it, uh, you see it gets darker and the uh, oxidation becomes more clear and the splashes look good too. Uh, so here are the other tags uh, that are dry now. Uh, this has a lot of uh, shine on it because of the mica, so it's a nice combination. And this has more depth on it because uh, we used uh, dye inks as well, dye sprays. So uh, I think I am ready to create my art journal. For this one, I'm going to play with uh, Elena Zinsky art images that I printed before uh, from various uh, uh, listings that she has on Etsy. Um, and I'm going to use these three beautiful colors from Oxides. First, I want to show you uh, the uh, images you get when you go to Elena's shop, uh, which the link will be down below. This is the girl I'm using, Hope Charity Joy Digi Stamp, it's called. Because I'm using multiple ones, I just wanted to show you. These are the lots of flowers and you get uh, all the flowers in colored and uh, uncolored versions. I'm going to use this one and the one down. I will use this leaf uh, that you see in the corner. And there are many more flowers that I love waiting for another project. It's really nice to have colored images as well and I'm going to uh, use today you will see all the colored images uh, and this is the borders uh, birds borders and hats I will use uh, one of these borders and it has also <laughs> very cute uh, characters birds uh, and you see uh, she shows examples of how you could use those borders but you will see how I am using as well so let's start with the background. Uh, as I said, I'm using uh, three colors, Spun Sugar, Dried Marigold and uh, Abandoned Coral. I'll just uh, spray these three colors. My Spun Sugar definitely, uh, the nozzle has a problem, uh, but uh, it's not a, a major problem. I can manage it with my hand. So, uh, and I love the combination of these three colors. It looks so soft and like so springy um, and uh, I really love pastel colors. Reminds me the 60s and uh, flowers, lots of flowers. After I uh, spray these colors I'm going to uh, spray some water as well and I'll close my uh, pages to see where we will end up uh, mixing these colors. It's uh, definitely beautiful and I'm going to clean the spine a little bit not to seep through and dry it and maybe layer on top uh, a bit more uh, so now I'm going to uh, sp uh, spray some water and splash some water uh, and uh, let it oxidize basically to create more organic interest uh, I'm going to use the same colors and this uh, stencil from crafters workshop 
uh, spraying uh, the same colors over this uh, stencil you will see the beautiful effect that it gives but it's very subtle so you could uh, stamp as well uh, with inks uh, distress inks uh, with the same colors just in case I am uh, also cleaning uh, the nozzle of the uh, sprays uh, immediately uh, I have uh, so many clogged uh, sprays especially the mica sprays clog a lot uh, so i'm scared so i clean my nozzles uh, all the time this is how it looks uh, and i absolutely love it i will still splash a little bit water to have more oxidation effect and uh, this is how it looks now i'm going to do some uh, uh, stenciling and with a um, light modeling paste this is Liquitex uh, light modeling paste, uh, which is my favorite. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit gray. This is Arteza craft paint uh, in gray. Uh, and when I put it, it will be a little bit lighter, which is perfect for me. And I have Tim's uh, brick uh, stencil, which I love. I think this uh, gray looks uh, great on these colors and creates a very nice uh, contrast. Uh, which I look for always because when you have contrast uh, there is more interest uh, there is more energy and uh, there is more depth in your projects so always imagine what will contrast with the colors that you created now that uh, I, it needs to dry I'm going to work on my uh, images that I will use these are little uh, flowers and trees uh, that I will use just a little bit uh, maybe uh, to do some uh, decorating over the border if I have any empty areas uh, but I am coloring them easily anyway uh, using uh, three colors from my distress inks uh, I am using a broken china, peacock feathers uh, and a little bit uh, spiced marmalade it's very easy to color small images with uh, inks like this. It takes uh, no time. Let's not forget to go around the edges of uh, our uh, fussy cuts uh, with black markers so that we get rid of the white edges. And uh, as I told you, I printed this uh, border twice uh, to use it in a bigger format. I just cut one of them and uh, used the same areas uh, again twice uh, to make uh, things uh, longer. Uh, so this is an easy way uh, to extend this border uh, and it looks very beautiful uh, on top of all this uh, background with the colors. I'm using mat my matte medium uh, to glue down all this border uh, around the edges of my uh, art journal page and uh, all done. Uh, it looks uh, really nice. Now I'm going to cut a few more flowers from the digital stamp set again from Elena. Uh, these are all colored uh, images that I printed. Uh, she colors them and gives you uh, colored and uh, uncolored versions which is great. Uh, so it makes my job much easier. This all goes with the colors that I used already uh, and also the colors of the girl. Uh, so all these uh, images uh, and uh, colored stamps uh, came together for me uh, as well as the border uh, but you will see that, that uh, in the border uh, listing uh, the stamps uh, there are many many borders with many colors so uh, you, <laughs> you have a lot of options I'm just uh, again uh, sticking down all my images using matte medium and I print these with inkjet printer, so uh, ink print. Uh, and uh, I use a dry brush uh, and uh, behave very gently when I'm gluing down so that they don't smudge. But I didn't experience a big smudging, uh, sometimes a little, but uh, as I said, I'm using always a dry brush with matte medium. And uh, I am very gentle when I am uh, sticking things down. So I'm just decorating my border and uh, my two pages uh, with uh, all these images that I uh, colored and printed. Uh, these little trees and flowers uh, unfortunately are not available anymore. But there are heaps of uh, flowers and leaves in the other stamp sets uh, that I showed you. Uh, so it's all uh, enough I think. 
Uh, I used this because it was all printed on the side uh, and I wanted to use um, something that I printed already. And uh, I'm going to use a uh, washi tape that I recently purchased. Uh, I'm going to put the link down below for this set uh, down for you because it's very beautiful. Uh, and it wasn't expensive for the amount of washi tape you get. Uh, and I'm using a gentle like grey color uh, washi tape with some white leaves on it. Uh, and I believe it goes very well with my uh, page. And it uh, creates some surface for my sentiment, which is hope, charity, and joy. Uh, this was uh, also included in the stamp sets uh, written by Elena. So I just printed them out uh, with a cardstock. And I am uh, again using my matte medium to glue everything down. Now I'm going to do some shading, especially around my girl, uh, because she's a bit lost with the same colors background and hair. So I'm using a dark pink to differentiate her uh, from her background. Um, this is Faber-Castell Pit Brush Marker, which has Indian ink that will allow me to smudge it uh, for a few seconds uh, before it dries. When it dries, it's permanent. I am also drawing my uh, stems for the flowers and some uh, lines and frames around my sentiment. Uh, when you can't cut out things, you can always draw them back. Uh, they are simple enough. The fine liner I'm using is Micron uh, from Sakura. Uh, and it's very good. Uh, it comes in sets uh, that you will find different uh, tips, uh, which is nice as well. Uh, different thicknesses. And I am drawing here and there some music notes because this looks like a hippie page uh, from 60s uh, and uh, I just uh, thought the music goes well with the page as well. And I am going to just uh, do some shadowing around the big flowers too. Uh, this is again a Faber-Castell pit brush marker. Uh, this is a Nuvo Crystal Drops and it's white. Uh, titanium white uh, I thought I would give some uh, I can give some dimension uh, going uh, over the white areas like these hearts in the little leaves uh, or the hearts in the border it would add some interest uh, so I'm just uh, now couldn't stop of course and <laughs> doing some dots here and there in the flowers as well it's just so much fun to play uh, with details when you your art journal finishes. And finally I'm going to do some white splashes uh, which kind of uh, disappears uh, in the background because uh, I have uh, the oxide inks uh, which are not permanent so that's okay. Uh, it leaves enough marks. And I am finished with this page. I love the happiness that comes from these colors and the uh, joy that it brings, really. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, uh, the links are down below for the digital stamps that I used and the major products that I used as much as I can find them. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I put different content and sneak peeks to my projects. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.